Alan Lichtman. Alan Lichtman. Professor Alan Lichtman of American University has correctly predicted the winner of each uh, presidential race since Ronald Reagan's uh, re-election victory in 1984. Alan Lichtman, a 77-year-old historian and professor at American University, has garnered a reputation as the Nostradamus of presidential elections for his remarkable ability to predict the outcomes of U.S. presidential races. With an impressive track record that includes accurately forecasting Donald Trump's victory in 2016. Donald Trump is going to win. And Joe Biden's win in 2020. I predicted that Joe Biden would be the president-elect back in August. Lichtman is once again making headlines with his prediction for the 2024 election, where he anticipates Kamala Harris will defeat Trump. Kamala Harris will be the next president of the United States, at least that's my prediction for this race. Lichtman's predictive model, known as the Keys to the White House, is a unique analytical framework he developed in the early 1980s. It hinges on 13 keys that I developed in 1981 with my geophysicist friend, Vladimir Kailas Borak. It's based on 120 years of presidential election outcomes before then. This model consists of 13 true-false statements that assess various political and social conditions surrounding an election. The underlying principle is straightforward. If six or more of these keys are false, the incumbent party will likely lose the election. So let's get to how these keys actually work. But first, 2024 is an unprecedented election year. Can Allen 13 keys call it right? Keys absolutely will work. They are the constant northern star of political prediction. Let's run these keys to reveal who Allen predicts will be the next president of the United States. Number one, the White House party gained House seats between midterm elections. The Democrats did better than expected in 2022, but they still lost House seats, so the key is false. Number two, the incumbency key. The sitting president is running for re-election. Biden withdrew from the race, costing the Democrats this key. It is false. Biden stayed in, they would have salvaged this one key. That's all. Number three, the White House party avoided a primary contest. The Democrats finally got smart and united overwhelmingly behind Vice President Harris. So the key is true. Number four, there's no third party challenger. RFK Jr has dropped out of the race, and no other third-party candidate is anywhere close to the 10% polling threshold needed to turn this key. It's true. Number five, the short-term economy is strong. Despite all the loose talk about a so-called vibe session, the economy is not in recession, so this key is true. Number six, Long-term economic growth during this presidential term has been at least as good as the last two terms. Growth during the Biden term is far ahead of growth during the previous two terms, so this key is clearly true. Number seven, the White House has made major changes to national policy. Rejoining the Paris Accords on climate change, the CHIPS bill, the infrastructure bill, the inflation reduction and climate change bill. Clearly, the key is true. Number eight. There is no sustained social unrest during the term. There have been sporadic protests, but nothing approaching the massive, sustained social unrest needed to turn this key, so it's true. There are a lot of protesters upset with Biden's policies in the Middle East, but now with Harris, not Biden, front and center, that has dampened social unrest. Number nine, the White House is untainted by scandal. Oh, my favorite key the scandal key. And Republicans have been trying for years to pin a scandal on President Biden and come up empty. So the key is true. Let's be real. Biden's dismal debate showing concerns about his age and the issues surrounding Hunter Biden. Shouldn't all of that factor in? No, there has to be at least some bipartisan recognition of actual corruption that implicates the president himself and not a family member. So the key remains true. Number 10, the incumbent party candidate is charismatic. This is a very high threshold key. You have to be a once in a generational, broadly inspirational candidate. Harris has not met that standard. So this key is false. Number 11, the challenger is uncharismatic. Some people think Donald Trump is a God, but he only appeals to a narrow base 
So that key is true. Wait, we still have two keys left. The foreign policy keys. Foreign policy is tricky, and these keys could flip. The Biden administration is deeply invested in the war in Gaza, which is a humanitarian disaster with no end in sight. But even if both foreign policy keys flipped false, that would mean that there were only five negative keys, which would not be enough for Donald Trump to regain the White House. By analyzing these keys, Lichtman has successfully predicted nearly every presidential election since 1984 except for the controversial 2000 election. We are now calling, Fox News now projects George W. Bush the winner in Florida, and thus it appears the winner of the presidency of the United States. Let's look at Allen's track record of accuracy. Lichman's predictions have often stood in stark contrast to mainstream polling and political forecasts. In 2016, when many analysts believed Hillary Clinton would secure the presidency, Lichtman confidently predicted Trump's victory a call that was later validated by the election results. His insights gained further traction when he accurately forecasted Biden's win in 2020, emphasizing that polling data could be misleading and that historical patterns often provide a clearer picture of electoral outcomes. As of September 2024, Lichtman has declared that Kamala Harris will win the presidency, citing that eight of the 13 keys align in her favor. Democrats will hold on to the White House and Kamala Harris will be the next president of the United States. Lichtman's confidence in his model stems from its historical foundation. He emphasizes that his predictions are rooted in structural dynamics rather than fleeting campaign strategies or media narratives. This approach has earned him respect and recognition as he often disregards the noise surrounding elections to focus on the deeper historical patterns that influence voter behavior. As the 2024 election approaches, his predictions continue to spark interest and debate, challenging conventional wisdom and emphasizing the importance of historical context in understanding electoral outcomes. Whether or not his forecast holds true, Lichtman's legacy as a reliable predictor of presidential elections remains firmly established, inviting both admiration and scrutiny from political analysts and enthusiasts alike. Hey. If you want to support us, you can hit that subscription button and like the video. It helps us reach more people. See you in our next video.